Hello, hello, this is Chris, the old guy collector, and I just want to uh, go over a short bit on a on a video feed of what the real, real good cards I got my last uh, card opening, and I also want to go over the bad of that card opening, and here they are. <laughs> well, let's do the good. Um, well, I got a foil, and I got the, the regular of Botani and Trout. Uh, numbered uh, 900 out of 2022, so that's a, and the real number is US 115, so real good. Now, uh, the other two I got was 35 year MJ Menen Melendez rookie, 35 year tops commemorative 87, and Hunter Green rookie. Tops commemorative 35. Really sharp looking cards. Really sharp. In fact, if they make it, if they make it big, I might just, you know, I'm going to send them. Send them to PSA or B BCS. Um, I'll save that for last. I got a Spencer Torkelson. I also, oh, I also got his face card, but I thought this was cool. Another one of these. I've got a lot of stars of MLB cards, but this is probably the best one I got next to. Uh, I got J-Rod as well, but that was in a separate pack. So, nice real card. Real sharp card, and I couldn't believe I picked this out. This is my third relic. Uh, this is my second ha helmet that I've got in my collection. I I don't have too many cards like this, but from the standpoint of it, it just, look how sharp that card come out of that box. This is just incredible. Anybody out there? And I got uh, from the archives box. I got J.D. Martinez's card. I also got Xander Bogart's card from the Boston Red Sox. Obviously, he's not playing with Boston, but it would make a Boston Red Sox fan mouthwater to see what I got uh, that was laid out in the table. I had Pedro. I mean, it was just incredible what the cards you're going to get out of archive. Top Series 2 update, Series 1, I'm sorry, Series, the Top Series update, uh, these are what I got, obviously, uh, this, I got this too, um, but the combo of the video, if you watch the whole video, you'll be surprised to see what I got. Now we'll go through the bad, and this is, strictly speaking, this is only Top's Series update 22 that I got some bad cards I got you know I got screwed more or less um, and the types of cards I'm going to go over as to what type of damages you're going to see these are cur these are crisp cut cards okay this is called snowing effect or what's called uh, coloring coloring is just discoloring because of the they're cutting the cards, and then next thing you know, the cards are colored. You know, the cards are colored in the process, and it doesn't dry fast enough. So you can see that discoloring. You can see that snow snow effect, more or less. This is this is a line effect shrieking from the cards going so fast across the board when they're when they're on the production line. I, I can I can tell because I worked production in a factory years ago, but you can see. I'll see it. I tried to to buff it with a you know a, a regular cloth that you know is used for your glasses and stuff to get the, the the effect out of it, and you can barely see it, but it's there. Okay, you really there there I I got it right by his arm. It's just streaked down. Um, there's more coloring of the card. It's no effect. This might be an okay card. They might pass this if this was a real good card. Um, it looks like it's dirt, more or less, but, I mean, I'm looking at this card, and I'm looking at this card, and I'm looking at myself, and I'm saying, you know, this is, this is snow effect. Because you can see it up here, too. You know, you can see it. Very little up here. See it? See it? More or less. So it's a snow effect card, you know. 
when I said might, they're not going to pass it. I just noticed that for the first time on the on the top end of the corner. And this is what really hurt my feelings, but I do have doubles of these two cards, so I'm not going to cry about it. Um, you're going to get duplicates on the Relic Box, or you're going to get duplicates on the regular booster from the updates. Uh, it's just a... It's just a sad fact, you know. It's a 300 cut, 300 card set, so you're bound to get duplicates. So, and then uh, here it is, you know. I got more shrieking line. More of that line effect. I'm trying to show it so you guys can see it more or less. Um, It runs right, right down there. It's 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 pretty bad. I mean, the great one gets the bad end of the stick, more or less. I get the bad end of the stick, and he gets a bad end of the stick. When you're a card collector or a collector, and you have something that's crap. You kind of feel bad about it, especially if it's a high-end star. Uh, I would not even pass this off and try to get something better from somebody. I would show the person what it looks like and say, "Listen, give me, you know, something minor that's that, that's junk. You know, a dent ding card for this card if you want to do a trade. You know, but that's not the, how the real world works, but." You know, I, I tried to buff it out with one of those cloth microfibers, and I ain't gonna get it out. I got, I got some of it out on court on uh, Castro, but it didn't work well for the others. I just gave up. You can see that streak right there. It's just see, I'll tilt it, and it's just a hairline. You know, if this was a complete set, I'd be sent. Well, it's not a complete set, obviously, but if this was complete and this come in a box, like a factory sealed box, I would be sending this straight to Tops, and they would replace the damn thing. You know, that's what they do. You notarize your set. You give them the missing hits. You give them the missing cards. You give them the damages. You give them the receipt of where you bought it, and more or less, they do they do their job. They honor it. So. With that being said, I'm not knocking this set. I'm not, you know, I I, I like the set. I like the turnaround, um, especially the hits. You know, these are big hits. If they make it as rookies, I got a fortune here, more or less. You know, I got something that could, if they, if they get to be high caliber, you know, and then obviously this is this is just a clear giveaway. This is this is awesome. There's got to be somebody out there that would probably buy this off me if I wanted to sell it, but I might not sell it. You know, I don't know. And the same goes with this. So, so be on the lookout for your errors. Your your your. When I say errors, I'm I'm meaning damage cards, and your print line. You can tell. Um, I also had a couple cards where. The centering was just a little bit off. I mean, they're not paying attention on that production line. They're pay, they're, they're they're going, you know. I it, I saw something on the feed there on YouTube, and, and somebody believes that they're they're entering a new junk junk wax era, um, of cards. In particular, I don't know if you've seen that whole tidbit about the basketball cards with Panini, where that the cards were just. They, they they had the they had the wrong name with the wrong card number or they had the wrong team with the wrong player or some stuff, and it blows my mind what goes on in production. You're supposed to pay attention to quality in production while you're making something that's good product. It's just plain and simple. Obviously, good help is hard to find. It's just a theory, it's just a thought, and I just wanted people to pay attention to, one, the streaks, the lines. You know, if you can try to, see, this is just it. You, if you look it up in the light right here, there's nothing. But, 
one of these babies. You know? You can barely see it, but it's there. You know, if I, if I do that, you can see it. It goes right there about where his foot is. So it's just a thought. More streaks, and then you have the snow effect again. So I'm not going to talk anymore for the time being. Thanks for your time. Be on the lookout. It's the old guy saying, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching.